A new study has just come out showing that when it comes to the food we eat and how it affects us, there's a whole lot we don't understand. This research was specifically about blood sugar. You might be familiar with blood sugar as it applies to people with diabetes. Diabetes is a problem of insulin. With type 1 diabetes, uh, your pancreas just doesn't produce the insulin it needs. And with type 2, uh, thanks to obesity, diet, lifestyle, and genetics, some combination thereof, the cells in your body don't react to the insulin the way they need to. So people with diabetes need to pay close attention to their blood sugar, making sure that it never gets too high or too low for an extended period of time, because doing that could lead to seizures, a coma, and eventually death. And the thing that has maybe the biggest impact on our moment-to-moment -moment blood sugar is the food we eat. Past research on what foods do what things to our blood sugar has led to the glycemic index, which is a way to rate different carbs and see how they will change your blood sugar. So for instance, uh, white bread is considered to be uh, high GI, meaning that it will spike your blood sugar. And something like lentils are known to be low GI, meaning that they don't really affect your blood sugar that drastically. This new research shows that the glycemic index may be true in general, but on a person-to-person -person basis, individuals can vary wildly. Uh, it's really cool. They took 800 subjects and continuously monitored their blood sugar as they went about their day eating foods and marking it down in a diary exactly what they ate and when. The subjects also all had to eat one consistent meal per day that was provided by the researchers. The researchers also took fecal samples so they could look at the subjects' gut bacteria. Disgusting, but fascinating. And sure enough, they found that people with different gut bacteria or different lifestyles had very different reactions when it came to eating certain foods. For instance, they found that some people had a much more dramatic blood sugar spike when they ate sushi compared to ice cream. The good news is that this means doctors in the future may be able to create more effective personalized diets to patients who are diabetic or pre-diabetic. The bad news is that in order to access that personalized diet, the patient's probably gonna have to poop in a jar. What this research doesn't tell us, contrary to some mainstream news articles and blog posts that I've seen, is how all of this affects weight loss. Yes, blood sugar levels are definitely connected to weight in some way. We see that obese patients are much more likely to develop type 2 diabetes, for instance. But past research has not shown a clear link between low glycemic diets like Atkins and improved weight loss. Now, that might be because those low glycemic diets weren't actually low glycemic for the people using them. Maybe their gut bacteria was changing the results. And now that we do know how much different people can be when it comes to blood sugar levels and various foods, we might be able to move forward and test how weight loss might be improved based upon your own personal gut flora. But unfortunately for right now, we're all stuck doing it the only clear, obvious, factual way we know how. If you wanna lose weight, you're still just gonna have to eat less and maybe move more.